Greetings and welcome back to Mershinki. I'm Catherine of Sky and I am so happy to be back playing this game again. I just load it up and I hear the familiar music and I'm like, oh, I've come home again. <laughs> I absolutely love this game. It's been several months since I've played and there have been many, many, many changes, all kinds of lovely things, quality of life changes, improvements, um, bug fixes, all kinds of nice things. And we have era four. Four. So there's new um, materials for us to transport, new things to conquer, and I'm really, really excited about getting you back here. So I'm going to start a brand new game, and there is a new map that I was asked to check out, which is the island map. It's a 512 by 512 map, a very, very big map, not re recommended for beginners, um, and indeed it's not. So what I've done is it comes if you go play on hard mode and we are going to play on hard mode this map comes with a depot already in place and it has placed down cities and industries and stuff so what i did is um i asked the devs how i could make it randomized because i really like a randomized map so they said you can use the tools in the editor which is if you go to the world editor and then load that map which is already included in the map directory um, because it comes with the game and um, then you use the tools within the editor to remove all the stuff you don't have to click everything one by one there's a tool that removes all industries and all cities and then uh, you save it with nothing on the map and then it will automatically generate stuff for you. So uh, I saved it as KOS 512H Island and so we're going to play with this map. Now uh, I do want to start with a hard difficulty because why not? Um, the economics are going to be a bit harder but it should be fine. Um, let's see random quests we want yes. Error progression method we want to pay for this. I don't want it to automatically go via time. Loan interest yes. Fuel cost default these are fine. Um, yeah, auto depot connection is just, um, adding the tracks when you place the things so you don't place it too close or too far, or it will just connect it if it's a little bit off. Um, right. So reverse at stop signals. We can't change that. Reverse at stations. Um, we want to be able to, I think we need to disable this one. This is what's called magic flip, I believe. So that, um... The trains will not automatically turn around at stations. This is very exciting because <laughs> there's some cool things that we can do with this, uh, which means essentially we're going to have to have looped stations or we're going to have to have ways to back out our trains and make them go forward. All right. Reverse when hills are too steep. Let's see. Um, this uh, allows the trains to turn around if they get stuck on hills because um, the locomotive isn't powerful enough. Now, this is a new feature that is in the game that trains, if they are overloaded, you either need to add an engine or reduce the number of cars because weight really matters now. So let's see. Do we want them to go turn around? Okay, so we do want them to turn around. They're going to say, nope, we can't do this. If disabled, they'll run at a reduced speed. That will just like power through it. So no, we want to enable this. Stop trains if no money. Yes. If our trains run out of fuel or run out of money to power them, they will stop on the tracks. Trains reverse at the end of the line. Uh, let's see. With this setting uh, enabled, trains don't automatically turn around. So when it says reverse at the end of the line, it means they go in reverse. It does not mean that they will flip. Um, so yeah. So if a train reaches the end of the line, it will reverse at a limited speed. And we'll talk about that when we get to it. Only one depot. This makes the, <laughs> the game much, much more difficult. So we're going to go with enabled, uh, town names. Where should we get our town names from? I don't know. Canada, United States. Last time I had United States, I had boring city. That was a very entertaining thing. Um, I think, let's see, Spain, Russia, Germany, Czech Republic, United Kingdom. I think I'll go with U UK names because I'm unsure about being able to pronounce ones from the Czech Republic or, or other places, but we'll see. We might do those next time. Anyway, uh, let's start a new game. We go back to custom maps and start game. So let's see what kind of map we get generated for us here. I have been playing a little bit in a test game with stuff <laughs> and it is awesome. 
All right, so our first goal, this game is um, has some quests in it to kind of help move things along and also to help teach you the game. So to get to the next era, we need to invest 100 lumber tokens and 100 um, coal tokens. Now, to head off any comparisons, and I really want to be specific about this, please do not tell me about Transport Tycoon, Open Transport Tycoon or Transport Fever. This game is unique. It is not like either of them and like both of them combined. I've played TTD and Open TTD like for ages, but I got bored because once you know how to win the game, you win and there's nothing that drives you. You just have endless money. It's like a sandbox. This game has this token system, which makes you do certain things in order to progress in certain ways. And I really, really like that. It gives you like a reason to do stuff. Okay, um, and then Transport Fever also only runs on money, um, so it's it's also quite different, even though this one has this nice, like, realistic uh, atmosphere too when you zoom in, but yet you also, if you press spacebar, you go into build mode, where you can easily build stuff. It's such a nice, easy, super easy transition. I absolutely love it. Right, so what we need to do in the game and this is a very funky, cool island. Look, it's got this gigantic crater, like maybe this is a, uh, I don't know, it's a volcanic kind of thing. I'm not quite sure. It's very cool, though. What we need to do first is earn money. That is the first type of token we need to get. Uh, we're looking for cities that we can transport passengers around. I see a really nice group of these guys here, a whole ring of them. Uh, one of the new features is that the names or the cities and this is great from the zoomed out view the cities show how many houses they have so this is their potential for producing producing production oh my god my words speak not good um per, uh, for producing um passengers to go to the next town so what what these houses do they produce passengers and they also convert passengers into new passengers um so you want to have a group of towns wow this town has five already wow um these are oh wouldn't that be fun going from perth to northampton there that would be interesting also one new feature that's been added to the game is that um there's a distance bonus so if you have these two close together you're not going to make a lot of money because they're just too close so i'm really looking for something where we can actually this would be a nice one all together going like this way all around this circle like this that would have enough passengers that we could really do well for a long time i think um but first <laughs> we need to get stuff done now we also are looking for the future industries which are going to be logs to making um lost the sawmill. mill oh my god logs to the sawmill and then from the sawmill to the tool shop here tool works because those are going to give us if we convert our our plywood to uh to to, to uh, tokens tokens wood tokens uh, which is another form of currency so there are several different currencies that we get in the first era and those are money money tokens wood tokens and or lumber tokens and then coal tokens yeah i think i like this this area here this is looking really nice i'm wondering if i should start here and then extend it progressively around and we'll just have our trains kind of go in a little loop like this to um yeah that might be really really nice start off with uh what is it called kilmarnock wow five how is that even five that is awesome i don't know if we'll be able to collect all of them because of stuff but we'll see how are, how are we going for closeness looking for how much this is going to cost basically um and we want to do a circular line because if we do just town to town with <laughs> um with just a straight line the train's going to be going backward half the time and that gives us a penalty um for travel so what if we do a railway here let's go and start the station wow that's not very much is it no the sadness is real we could put it here though we could put this here and then extend the station with the extension blocks so let's go ahead and put it here i want to have a spot where i have at least two to the downside this way Okay, we're gonna have this one going there. A Norwich. Um, oh, wait, 
We probably need to do this. Ugh, this is messy. This is really messy. What if we did this? We could potentially do this, actually. If we... Mm. Man, it is messy. <laughs> it's very messy. It's like, no. Um, I also want to make sure and put all the stations horizontally because they're going to go around in a circle for the most part. So we've got to be careful about how we do this. All right. Let's see. What are we doing here? Um, wait, is that? Oh, that's actually below this. Okay. Interesting. Right. We have a very limited amount of fun. We, we have the ability, and that's what we set up in the options, to borrow another thousand money. I think we're going to add this one this way, like this. Right. We want to build a station here. Okay. Let's take this along this way. Connect this this way. I'm leaving space so that we can add more station pieces to this. In fact, I'm going to right now add signals to reserve those spaces because um, a, a road cannot go over a signaled piece of track. So we're kind of using this to our advantage here. Now, Norwich, I think, let's zoom out. Yeah, Norwich, I think, is going to be the furthest here um so i think i would like to what do i want to do here this is such a <laughs> an inconvenient place to have all this stuff going on i think we want to take this though let's get this no no no, no. we want the this that's what we want I want to build our station this way, I think. Right across there. Yeah, I like that. That'll be fine there. And then we'll have this station being here. Excellent. Most excellent. Now then, do we have enough money to connect it? I don't know. Um, also, we're going to need probably to borrow some money very shortly. But let's see what we got here. Let's get this going there. We're just going to go over this. All right, this has to be changed because this is not going to fly. Luckily, the cost isn't too bad for a lot of these things. So we're able to connect them without too much penalty. Now then, this is going to be connected here for now. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. And we have money for stuff. Okay, um, let's see. Where is our next connection going to be made? So we're going to keep on connecting these, uh, these villages together. But we're also going to need to get wood to... In fact, I should have uh, reduced the frequency of industries. Looking at this, we have far too many, I think. Um, let's see. There's a tool works there. There's a tool works here. Ah, this is probably the one we want. We can take coal here and also wood to the planks making to the tool works there. So I think this will be, I think we can put our, um, we only get one depot. We cannot delete this uh, and we cannot do anything else with it. Like we can't delete this thing. Uh, and we can't move it or anything like that. So I want to put it like maybe there. I don't know. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. It's just I want to put it a little bit away so I have choices later. But still. Let's put it two away from the track. Okay. We'll buy it. There we go. Boom. Built. Um... And then all we need to do is let us add our our signals. I do want to have um, 
I think that's actually enough. There's a, no a lovely new feature here, and I love this. We're going to make our trains probably eight tiles long at some point. Let's reserve a couple of these tiles, by the way, just for funsies here. Um, yeah, they have auto signal placement. <laughs> this is wonderful. So I think we're going to make them eight tiles long eventually. Uh, so what it does is it automatically puts the signals down for you. Now, we're going to have to add a couple by here, um, but as we're going along, let's just add them here. Nice. Boom. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> I love this. This is just great. And it, just make sure you put them on the correct side of the track because they will put on either side. Now, note that the signals are meant to be on the right side of the track. Uh, when you're looking so that's kind of important i also tend to like to have a signal after each station because these are block signals this just closes off the block nicely okay that's good excellent so now we just need to close off this block as well uh this goes this is an in block i think Let's just make sure that this also is um, closed off so it's not one humongous long block. All right, we are looking good. I think that's excellent. Now we have 288 money left, uh, money tokens. So let's buy ourselves a passenger train. Buy one of them. And we're gonna put this guy probably out here for now. Now then, um, we want to make sure, one of the things that's important about trains when you set them up, you want to make sure that you do not exceed the length of the blocks. So we have, these stations are one, two, three, four, five, six blocks long. So we cannot exceed six blocks or else they'll stick out the back and, and other stuff. I mean, they can exceed the station, but they load much more slowly if they are off. So there are two different kinds of cars here. We have the weight when it's empty and the weight when it's full. And we're going to buy some coach cars because they hold a capacity of 15 passengers. We're going to overbuy these things. Now, keep watching the length here. 388, 48, 572. Now, we technically cannot add an extra. And adding an extra also puts a weight way over. So this is not a good thing. We want to have that not over. So we'll go ahead and take one car off. Weight is normalized. And we have a length of 572. Now, with this train, um, I'm going to start it from outside the depot. So any new trains are just going to follow this uh, schedule. So let's add the stations one by one. Now, technically, on a closed loop like this, you can have uh, whatever schedule. You don't even have to put a schedule because the train is smart enough to go around and do things without um, needing directions because it's a closed loop. But since we have only one depot for the entire map, I'm just going to make sure that I, uh, I specify where this goes because we're going to have branch lines branching off of this and things like that. So we want to make sure that it's good. So this train can go a maximum of 40 miles an hour. Later, if the train is going in reverse, it will go um, at a negative rate. And the de negative just means backward. It doesn't mean it's going negative whatever miles an hour. But that amount is much, much slower. So. Anyway, we're going to leave one train for now. In fact, we're going to go at a higher speed here so that we start getting stuff uh, happening. Because at the beginning, we're going to have so few passengers, it's going to cost us quite a lot of money to just run this line until the towns get upgraded. Now, we can see the towns getting upgraded. If we go ahead and look at, say, Bedford here, let's click Bedford. We can collect, we can connect a couple of, or not connect them, but we'll um, click a couple of them. And Norwich, hello. All right, let's just click them here. There's Norwich. Oh, that's Norwich House. So say, uh, that's just the city of Bedford. I was wondering why this was bigger. If I click this, Norwich, hello. There we go. And what this is telling us, by the way, in fact, a better one might be to click on uh, St. Asaph's. Is that it? Asaph's, yes. Okay, St. Asaph's. Because they're going to get the most passengers because the town right before is Kilmarnock. 
What a weird name. Um, <laughs> it's like, I keep wanting to say Kilnarok, or, but it's Kilmernock, I think. But anyway, Kilmernock is the biggest town we have. It has five houses, remember, and these have three. Or this one has three, two, and two. So they are going to be generating the most passengers. So technically, St. Asaph's is going to grow the fastest of all of these places. Um, and the way you can tell they're growing is this is the required amount of people for growth. And then when the train delivers people, like it's going to deliver 22 people to St. Asaph's, which is right here, they're going to be halfway to a new uh, house. So they're going to get a new house very, very shortly. So then Bedford is going to get their pa passengers. They only have, what, seven? But that's okay. They're still growing. It's going to be fine. Um, but yeah, uh, St. Asaph's is going to grow the... Uh, grow first. So what I want to do also is I want to rename the city or the stations to say like Bedford City, for example. Bedford City. And I'm going to use city to denote something like a passenger station. Um, let's see, Norwich. Let's see, station. Because I, when you look at on the, uh, the train schedule, it's kind of like um, station one, two, three. I don't want it to be that way. I want it to be called something. So let's just delete this one. So we'll call this Norwich uh, City. There we are. And we've got, okay, this is gonna be hard, but it's gonna tell us what it is. Kilmarnock, Kilmarnock, oh dear. Kilmarnock City. Okay, good. And then we're going to call this one St. Asaph's City. I've never heard of St. Asaph. I wonder if it's a real saint. Okay. 95. They're just about to get a new house. This is very exciting. <laughs> okay. I. Okay, first passengers will get a reward of 200 money. Delivery of logs. Okay, deliver 100 logs into any sawmill. Uh, that is our next task to get stuff going. Let's go in regular mode here. We can just watch our train go around. I've got it on high speed, so it doesn't take too long for us to ge get, generate the needed money here. But we can go and ride the train for a bit. You can even get inside the train if you want, but before we do that, I actually want to see the town grow here. Train arrives. Whoa, there it goes. Look at this. Nice. New house. So now the next threshold is 150 people to generate a new house. So these other guys are going to slowly get up there. It's going to take a while, but um, as the cities grow, it'll be easier for that to happen. And we're going to get more money as that goes on as well. I can't tell if we're making money yet. I haven't timed it. So Norwich 400 after delivery. Let's go and follow the train around and see uh, how how much we're we're getting if we're getting any profit. We might not be because, again, this is low quantities of passengers going very short distances. So we're not probably making any money yet. But the good thing is that the passengers are not overloading the stations or anything. So we might be, uh, they're, they're probably waiting until the train can come around again, uh, i.e. they're not diminishing. There we go. 6 of 75. Okay, so it looks like we probably are making a little bit of profit because we were at Norwich last time at 400 and now we're at 417. So this number is just going to go up as we go. But note that the, the train does burn uh, money, <laughs> literally, operating costs minus one um, as it goes along its journey. And, uh, and it's just taken off. There you go. There you see it taken off again. And um, so that's that's part of life, unfortunately. Now we need to have a pretty thriving um, economy here. I wonder if we should do two, two little circlets here, or if we should connect them all together. Hmm. 
This makes me now wonder, <laughs> because if we have a bigger circle, wow, we have 27 passengers at Norwich. Wow, nice. Now, normally I would also go into construction mode and start constructing roads, but roads haha, are very expensive or can be expensive. Well, actually, they're not that bad. I thought they were like, OK, I, I must have looked at something wrong when I was looking earlier. So I think let's just make this flat. Can we? Oh, no, of course not. But thank goodness the roads are adaptable so we can make a road here and uh, and get these things. We can actually teach the town to grow in the way we want it to grow. So I'd rather have two spaces from the station rather than one. And that is so we can put station extensions on here. It's quite important that we do that, actually. There we go. Okay, that'll be fine like this. And we'll just extend this a little bit like this. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Okay, good. So we did a little bit of uh, roading there. Let's see, St. Asaph's probably still going to be the fastest growing town here. Oh, I clicked on the town rather than... I clicked on the, the station rather than the town. Oh, it's probably up here. 87, hello. <laughs> there we go. So Norwich has been having a lot of passengers delivered here. So I think one, two, three, four, five. They didn't grow yet. I'm really surprised about that. Oh, okay. That's right. They had a higher threshold because they were a bigger city anyway, but we just got a new house. Yay. This is good. Life is better now, clearly. Okay. So we are still slowly starting to get some of the money here. Kind of wondering, maybe we should build, uh, we could start building the stations in any case. So what we'll do is just delete this bit of railroad and just kind of go around uh, as we can. So let me just do that. Let's build our first station here. If I build it there, actually that's okay because there is an extension that we can build. Ah, and this is part of the problem too. Even though we have three houses, only one is in the catchment zone. So let's see what we can build here. Okay, waiting room is loading speed plus 100% capacity plus 500 catchment area plus two. Yes, please. All right, we need to make sure that this is on a decent kind of a slope here. Let's put it here. Yes, good. So now they're going to be able to pick up more than six passengers. Let's see how many they pick up next time. That's really going to be big. Bedford City. Um, yes, waiting room. It's going to cost us another hundred, but that's okay. This is a good direction for growth. So let's put it there. And then Norwich. Yes. Extensions, waiting room. Wrong sloping. That's not great. Here is actually okay. We could probably extend our roads around this side. There we go. But this is a very worthwhile thing. Okay, so... Last time they got six, now they're getting 20. Much, much better. Okay, this one is only catching three houses, so let's build the waiting room here as well. There we go. Now, note that it does have to actually touch the station uh, to be able to go, but I think I, I want to extend it by one block this way, so we'll build it that way. Nice. Okay, so all of these stations now have um waiting stations okay let's go ahead and follow our train around a little bit nice 39 of 75 passengers this is starting to look like we might need to uh think about possibly getting another train going on here okay there we go loading 36 passengers instead of whatever we had six last time and you can see the money is already going up as well Watch this one here. We can actually go into this mode. The buildings are so, so very pretty here. Now, this is on hard mode, keep in mind. So it is a bit of a slow start, but that's okay. It's uh, it's fine. So we have 31 here on there. So we'll probably spend quite a lot of time just getting a little bit of money so that we can go to the next stations. But 
we are gaining much more money than we were before. Now there's another extension that's also very valuable that we can get called the restaurant. And that is capacity 50% plus 50% and income of plus 25%. However, we need lumber tokens. So that is the next thing we're going to work on. Um, I think though, I, th I really think that we should expand this, uh, this the money making to be honest, because we kind of need it. We kind of really need it. This is dairy. Um, build the station up here, maybe. Go ahead and get this going on there. I think what I'll do is I'll I'll do this one time. I'll get all these four stations, new four stations up, and then we can change the track. Okay, there's a tool works there. I don't really want to interfere with that tool works, to be honest. So there's dairy. Um, let's go and take these, get a couple of signals, just to reserve a couple of blocks there. This one needs to go up slightly. How are we going to do this? Oh, we're going to do it just like that. That's fine. All right. Let's go ahead and go this way. Yeah, I think we can easily go around this. This is not a big deal. Oh, wow. How did that happen? No, 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 no. Oh, no. Don't do this. Let's take this off. I'm not sure how that happened. It was kind of disgraceful. There we go. Must have moved the mouse slightly. Just slipped, I suppose. All right, so that's one town. Let's go for Plymouth. Now, Plymouth actually might be best from this side since I can get two at the same time. Now, I don't have enough tokens to make a big enough uh, station there, so we'll just kind of wait for our train to shuffle stuff along here. The train is doing its best. Could doing really well, actually. How's Kilmarnock? Right, 186 here. Here we're at... Um, see what we got. No, that's waiting at the station. No, no, I want towns. Aha! 217. Wow. Oh, no, that's Kilmarnock. Okay, this was 76. Oh, they got a new house, I think. They, they got a new house last time. <laughs> Not this time. I love to see them get a new house, though. It's kind of cool. It's really fun. You can just see the cities growing before your eyes. There's Norwich. Oh, they're, they're getting new houses. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, they're covered all the way there. Good. All right, Plymouth. Uh, I think we can build the station now. Let's just build this here. We'll have to do until we can get the extension. But we can also connect this this way. We can do this. It's not a valid track crossing because of the signal right there. So we have to remove the signal, put it there instead, and we'll just take this, go that way. Just go and take this, oopsie, no, no, I didn't want to remove it. Silly thing. Okay, so we have these two placed on here. We'll go ahead and get our signals, um, the auto signals, like that, it's fine these on this side. Excellent. All right, so we now have those uh, working. Wow. Oh, so many people are happy to travel on our trains. Oh, this is good. We've got Bedford. People are waiting here. I can't see. Just missing it somewhere. 25 there. We can, the neat thing is it also shows on the order list for the different cities. Not sure why why we have these. Why there was a little bit of a artifact there. I'm not sure, but uh, we can see how many people are waiting at each station. So we know. Okay, Kilmarnock City is uh, it's a great place to have people. Oh, they had a new house happen. Nice, very very excellent. Which is good. Now then. Um, now we do need Chelmsford. Oh, should we wait for, should we allow for Wrexham to be in the equation too? They only have one person there, so I'm kind of like, eh, I'm not sure about this. I think we'll go Chelmsford instead. 
Um, we could have the station facing to the side. But to be honest, I'm not really sure if this is very va like a very viable situation. Look at the, the landscape. It's awful there. So I think what I might do instead is just take these and call it done. Let's go this way. Costs 83. Oh. There we go. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this train and pause it and change the, uh, yeah, change the schedule. So we're going last to St. Asaph's and before Bedford, we want to add Plymouth. Oopsies. No, no, please. There we go. I didn't click on the right thing. I still didn't click on the right thing. There we go. Bedford and then go to station five. Okay. And we'll put Bedford underneath all of those sure why this is um let me just re restart the uh little window there so it's giving me some interesting looks there we go maybe i just need to make this bigger okay let's see still having that odd oddness there but anyway we should be able to go because we do have a valid track thing so let's just get the game moving again there we go uh and i also want to add do we have enough money we do all right station five we could Put an extension for the waiting room there we go okay so they'll have more passengers being able to wait there and then we do need the signals here now the signals aren't necessary for one train obviously but once we get more than one train that's when we're gonna need to have uh these things in place okay there we go so now these stations uh, and these towns can grow. And we can also delete this train track. Now, do is there a reason to keep the train track? I don't know. Um, maybe. Maybe there's a reason. I don't know if we want a short thing for some reason. So there's coal here. And we need the, um, the tool works. That's over there. Let's see, or there's one over there. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get these, uh, the coal mines and stuff like that. What do we got here? 10, 10, 10, six and five. So that's 41 passengers. That is very nice. Very, very nice. Good. Excellent. And they're arriving happily, safely. Ooh. I'm wondering if we're gonna get much greater amounts of passengers. We have 79 here now. That's too many, actually. We have 82. We now have too many for the single train to carry. So what we need to do is make a second train. And there is a really nice tool for doing this. You can click on the depot. And when you have the depot opened, you can click on duplicate train and then click on, oopsies, let's pause. Uh, click on the train number and it'll tell you exactly how much it costs. So we need to get, oops, I keep pressing spacebar when I really mean number keys because spacebar often uh, pauses the game in, uh, in other games. So I, I got too used to so many of those games. But as soon as we get 150 money, it's definitely worth it because now we have 37 people that couldn't get on the train and wanted to. We could even have a short train just going these four if we wanted to, or we could just have a train going all around. So let's see, 122. Oh, I like getting close because you can hear the engines better. It's so nice. 156. Okay, let's just pause the game here. Okay. Um. It's not at an ideal spot, but I could stop the train and have this train duplicate this one. Click it. There we go. Boom. Go. And now this one will go. Oops, let's go. And this one is stopped on purpose. I'm going to wait until this one is around here just before uh, Kilmarnock so that they're kind of on opposite ends of the circle. All right, train two is going to pick up their first uh, group of passengers. Yay, there they go. 38. Nice. Okay, they're going. 
in Derry, they're like, what? We can see the train. Why is it not coming? What is wrong with you people? Mm-hmm. You can see the passengers being created. They're leaping all into the station. It's very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, let's go then. There we are. Oh, not enough tokens for operating costs. That is not very good. That's very, very bad. Let's uh, sell this carriage here because we don't really need it. But now we should have ample tokens. Now we have more than one train going around. Now, they're not going to generate many, many more passengers, I don't think, with, uh, with having two trains. But at least we're not going to waste passengers at this station. So already there's 42 over here. So hopefully we're going to just get those guys going and uh, life is going to be better. We have many, many happy people, many happy tokens of love being spread our way there. Okay, so. But I feel like we've already sort of formed the basis uh, for the, the next stage of the game, which of course is to make the lumber tokens. Let's see where we might do that. I think this is a really good tool works over here. We've got the coal. Wow, that's wow, that's on a hill, right? Way, way up that hill. Um, there's a forest on the same plane as there's a sawmill here too. That might be a really good thing. We've got two forests. We could have them go on this side and then, yeah, that would be good. It'd be really nice. Huh. Okay, that's looking good. Uh, but all of this has to be in some way connected to our first depot because that's the only depot we get. Wow, look at these towns. They're really growing nicely. Oh, even this one has gotten an extra house or two. Let's build some more roads here. Let's go here, go across like this and we'll go around just forming the sort of um, backbone of how we want our cities to look. Okay. Now, did I build the extension for this one yet? No, I didn't. We still need a hundred money for that. Come on, trains, make me money faster. Let's go. Go, 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 go. This is YouTube. We ain't got no kind of time to wait. <laughs> right? Oh, boy. But it is good to get a waiting room here. Um, let's put this right behind this house. This is an ideal spot, by the way, because there's no roads that can reach the ta um, a house to be built here. So this is an ideal spot to have this extension. I could put a road here so that it will, a house could form here and there. That is an option. Um, or I could put extra extensions there. That's another thing that I could do. Um, but I think that this is a good spot maybe to end this episode because the next things that we're going to do are going to be very, very, uh, lots more building and another new project. So uh, I ho hope you have enjoyed the start of this, uh, this wonderful epic journey that we're on. I can't even tell you how excited I am about it. It's going to be lots and lots of fun. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.